evening, everyone. My name is Nguyễn Hoàng Khải Tú, and I'm here today to bring you a speech on the issues of school bullying. So why choose this topic? Other, why I choose this topic? You, do you think I'm a victim and now I'm brave enough to stand up to talk about this problem? Let's watch a short video first. I'm a survivor. I'm not In fact, I'm just a person who represents for the victims who are being bullied at school. I'm a high school student, and over a year I've been through elementary and middle school. I witnessed a lot of school bullying, from big and small, from minor incidents of harm, such as verbal violence, to the biggest cases, physical, to the biggest cases, physical violence that affects students' violent mental health, that, that affects children's mental health. A non-governmental organization researched that on 9,000 students in four Asia countries, including Vietnam, showing that on average, 7 out of 10 students, 7 out of 10 students being bullied at school. And talking that, Vietnam ranked second with 71%. And being bullied, we the um, at first victim negatively affected, but effective physical health. Second, it will affect mental health. Children are being bullied, may drop out from school, they lock themselves in the room because they want to avoid school bullying. And research showing that research showing that research showing that students who experience parental violence at school, at home, may, it's more likely to cause violence and bullying at, at school. And conflict online lead conflict in real life. When they have conflict together in online, they will like acting out and fighting in school. And this is a true story of my friends. They are, this is an example of school bullying in real life. I have been a victim of school violence. It was really a nightmare for me in my own middle school. During the four years of middle school, they used violence to make me do what they wanted, using violence to make me do the homework. They even beat me for no reason. The school knew it, but only concealed and lightly punished for fear of affecting the honor of the school. I even changed schools, but they still brought the friends to find me. At that time, there were wounds all over my body, even being hospitalized. I still couldn't get justice for myself, and I still feel no guilt and no remorse. This is not a complication for us anymore. The, this is not a complication for us anymore. People often competed Petitions, um, victim must do this, must do that, must tell the adult, but they it finish up, they forget unimportant things. So do you know any law in Vietnam protect victims? Of course not, because we don't have any. So we need to separ separate the law, a law for bullies, make them do the community, community work, make them realize that it's never okay to be bullied. Next is education. Next, next is education. Open a class, teach about personalities, teach bullies to have a good character trait, teach, teach them to be to development a good personality. And the last thing is 
at family. Your parents, parents and family is our role model. They will copy you. If you be, be nice to them, you love them, they will follow you and they will do that to everyone. And the last thing is an important message. I want to say to you, the victim out there, you need to be strong, be brave, be confident about yourself. Don't rely on anyone because only you can protect yourself. Do something, stand up, stand up in front of the face of bullying. Let's tell the teacher, the school, and, and everyone out there that those acts of bullying need to be stopped. Thank you for listening.